guys, it's Annika and today I'm going to be showing you how I do this look and it's also kind of like a get ready with me type video. I know that this is normally some people's like everyday makeup routine, but this is more of like the natural look for me. I want to see how I achieve this and get ready with me, then keep watching. Without makeup and earrings, I literally feel like I look like a 12 year old boy, but it's okay. I'm seeing people wear hoops a lot recently, so I wanted to get some, but I didn't think have not put earrings in in four years and so I thought that I had to go get them re-pierced but then I literally just tried last night and it just like slid through so I'm taking my Anastasia dip brow and um, I'm using this little ratchet brush that I got from Milani and I do have a Morphe eyebrow brush but I just literally like this one so much better does she look cuter yes but do I like this more yes I just kind of start at the beginning of my brow and I just kind of make a line under and then I make a line over but I leave the front part bare. I think that I've done an eyebrow tutorial before and I don't think that I really changed up the way that I do my eyebrows but I just feel like I've gotten a lot better at them and I feel like I've gotten a lot faster. So like I already have it like the outline made so I just have to fill in this part. I have it looking cute like that so I'm just gonna take a little bit of additional product and I'm gonna like make a line and then like flick it upwards. I really like uh, my eyebrows to be longer than they are because I feel like my eyebrows are really really set apart. Just kind of brush through them and make sure that there are no harsh lines because we don't um, stand harsh lines in this family. I had to explain what stand was to someone yesterday because sometimes I forget that some people don't get on Twitter. The brow is kind of starting to get crusty and I used to revive it with Tarte Maracuja oil but I don't have any more. Then I'm finished and I kind of have the outline. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Pot Concealer. I take a little bit of it but not directly under my brow. I just kind of work its way up so that there isn't too much product caked right under my brow. And then it gets like kind of greasy. I don't know if I explained that well. But this is what I've been doing and I feel like my eyebrows just look a lot better whenever I do this technique. And so now that I look like 2010 Mitchell Musso, I'm going to put on candy cane chapstick because I'm literally addicted. And it, now they sell it all year round, which I think is just great. So I forgot to, but I'm setting my brows with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Not that there is any product left because there is barely any. Oh, wait, no. My brow is wet. <gasps> but I really, really need some. But then I'm like, it's $20. But I'm going to have to eventually get some because literally no other brow gel works as good as this one. It smells like a honey bun. I'm going with this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Oil, but I literally use this in the morning because nobody can tell me what to do and I'm a savage. Ew, I hated that. So now I'm putting on moisturizer. This is the Pond Moisturizer and I'm trying to hurry up and run out of it because literally I feel like it makes my skin so greasy. I don't know how I didn't see it before. Like I feel like it doesn't like sink into my skin. I feel like it just sits there. So I feel like the whole entire process is just unnecessary, but I am going to use it anyway because got to get that $1 worth out of it, right ladies? Now to make my skin a little bit tacky, I'm using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I love this. Now that I look like a greasy hamster that just took a dip in the pool, I'm going to let this dry for a second so that my Tarte Shape Tape doesn't go on weird. Now I would recommend using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. But I ran out of this, so I'm having to use a full coverage concealer, but I'm going to go in with a kind of light hand so that it doesn't look a little bit too crazy since I'm not wearing foundation. We love a beauty guru who knows what she's doing. Also, if you're wondering where my skin's bad, I have literally picked at it so much and I need to stop. Don't pick at your skin, kids, because then you'll look as ugly as me. Two swipes here and two right here because I get really, really red. And then I'm just putting one right here to balance out and then I'm going to... Put it on my blemishes. I don't even know if you call these like pimples. Like I just think that they're like scabs. I'm going to take it onto my eyelid because y'all, I have really, really veiny eyelids. Like it honestly looks scary if I don't put concealer 
So like, just for the sake of like not scaring people, I'm going to take it on my eyelids, add it in, then melt into the skin and gets rid of the redness of my pimple. I'm trying to be more informative in my videos. I literally feel like a two hour makeup look is reduced to two minutes on my YouTube and I just feel like that's not how that's supposed to work. So, I am trying to be more informative. So if I am, let us just know and if I'm still not being informative enough, let us just know. This Model Co. Mini Contour Stick and I'm just going to create like two lines right here and then like some lines around the forehead and I'm just going to use this to bronze up the skin so that I can set it with powder bronzer. I'm also going to put two little ticks on this side of my nose. Before I'm finished blending out a section, I go back in and I blend out the rest of my face so that I look less Caucasian because that is the last thing that I want. I'm not trying to expose or anything, but yesterday, dude asked me if I was white, and I was literally so shook about it. Why you would ask somebody that? And it's kind of rude. But, um, no tea, no shade, so. A separate beauty blender, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and I'm gonna be baking. Um, I wouldn't recommend this. I would recommend the Airspun, but they didn't have it at Target, and I ran out of my Airspun, and so I just really, really needed some loose powder. So I picked this up, not saying that it's terrible, cause like it's not, but like Airspun is just so much better. Whenever I'm baking, I kind of pat the product into the skin, but not really that much, cause I am gonna end up wiping away the excess anyway. Wiping away the excess. And what I like is my freckles are still showing through. I mean, am I gonna add some other freckles later? Yeah, but. It really be like that sometimes though. This Tarte Hamptons Weekend Contour Palette. I'm too Caucasian for these two colors. For the Farmer Market bronzer thing, I really, really like it. I sound like a smoker. But I'm taking this Luxia 660 Precision Foundation Brush. But again, I'm a savage. So we're not going to go by the rules. Also, I've been saying savage so much recently since Emma Chamberlain. And I honestly hate it. Anyways, I basically just take a bit of the farmer's market powder and I just kind of dust it over my eyes to give a little bit of definition and then I run it down the sides of my nose, but like not really, and I just kind of put it on my chin and then my neckline and then I'm going to put a little bit down my neck because we out here trying to match, you know? Don't get me wrong, I am a hoe for some full coverage makeup, but I literally just love natural makeup sometimes luxie tapered highlighter brush which again we're not using for highlight because literally who would use that for highlight anyways i'm gonna be taking the happy booster blush by physicians formula i literally love this and it smells like so good and it's apparently supposed to lighten your mood and make you more happy and that's why i bought it and I hate myself for it. Yeah! Okay! Also, I have been loving it to put blush on my nose. I literally think it looks so cute. I love looking sick 24-7. It's my new look. Spritz my face with Mario Badescu facial spray again. And this is just gonna melt in all the powder. And so my face is kind of not powdery. It looks more natural. This Morphe pencil brush. I'm going in with the Anastasia um, Rosy highlighter. Y'all, this is no joke the best highlighter. It doesn't really fit my skin tone, but I'm not even mad about it because I use it anyway. Sometimes you just gotta take one for the team. If you want to, you can skip highlighter, but Assist doesn't skip highlighter. Button Wild blending brush, and I use this for my highlight now. And I love it. It's my highlight more concentrated instead of being all over the place and i can really control where i want the highlight to be so first i'm going to put it above my brow i learned this by catty maddie now i'm just going to focus the highlight right at the center of my face and then i'm going to bring it a little bit closer some people don't like my highlight being that close but it's not really on your face so you shouldn't care i'm not really really sassy but honestly people Need to let people wear the makeup that they want to the way that they want to and just keep your mouths shut about it so see the lime 
And so to make it a little bit better, I'm going to go back in with my blush brush and I'm just going to kind of go over it. Help it that much? Not really, but am I still going to continue to wear this highlight? Yes, because it's literally the most blinding highlight that I've ever experienced. Now I'm taking this Peak Beauty Eyebrow Powder and I'm going in with a Morphe liner brush if I can find it. So I'm gonna do fake freckles. Is this wearing more makeup? Yes. I just think that it overall makes your makeup look so much more natural. Just doing small little dots and then I'm patting them out to make them look super, super natural. And people, whenever I do this technique, they always ask me, if I have freckles. So now I'm curling my lashes. I think that this is a Sally Hansen eyelash curler. She's really, really crusty. I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Mascara. And do I really recommend this? I thought that I liked it at one time and I got it, but I just realized that it's a lot better dryer. So if you just want to like get it and dry it out, then by all means, please do. I'm going back in with chapstick. I just really don't like to wear lipstick. Hope that you guys enjoyed it.